uh, hello and uh, welcome to my youtube channel and uh, welcome to the series of uh, installation of SCCM setup uh, we have covered till now the prerequisites uh, in my part 1 to 3 and now in this part I am going to install SQL server in the lab and uh, on the SCCM server SQL server 2017 and uh, let's go and uh, start the installation okay so first is we have to install this SQL server setup which we can install or download it from the uh, Microsoft site I'll give the link of uh, this uh, setup in my description of this video so you can check and you can download it from there okay so let's start with the installation firstly just uh, want to uh, let you know that uh, for uh, like uh, for communication we need 1433 port uh, uh, for this SQL so I have already uh, configured it so just want to show you just go to this Windows firewall and advanced security in the inbound rules I have added this role with the SQL port 1433 so once we add that we are good to go with the installation part we can open it double click on the setup file it will take around uh, maximum one minute to start this thing yeah it started now next step is to just go to the installation part we have to just click on this new SQL Server stand stand alone install, uh, installation or add features to an existing installation. So just click on that. Uh, because uh, I'm using in the lab, so we can go ahead with the evaluation version. But if you are installing it for any other uh, for a company or your client so you should always enter this product key uh, before moving ahead so I'm just using it as a evaluation version click next to check and uh, I'll not uh, click on that because uh, I'll manually update any update required Okay, so for this uh, SCCM, there are so many uh, component or features of this uh, SQL Server. But for SCCM, we require only this one database engine services. Uh, it's enough. And uh, in the later part, if uh, anything required, we can add. But uh, for the time being, it's uh, database engine services are required. <coughs> Sorry. So then. Uh, this is the path of installation. Uh, if you have any other directory, C or D or D drive, then you can change it to that. Uh, for in in my case, it's a C drive, so I'm just keeping it as as it is. Okay, so click next. So we are uh, I'm going to use a default instance here. That is MS SQL Server. Uh, we don't need to change here go ahead then uh, yeah here we need to check the account uh, which accounts it's using for running these services these are the SQL server service, uh, SQL server services so there are three services after installation it will run on this server SQL server agent database engine and browser so we don't need to change anything here then we need a windows uh, authentication mode we can use our current uh, account with, by which I'm using so you can create one account uh, for uh, uh, like for this uh, SQL server installation and uh, we require a service account so you can uh, go to uh, Active Directory and create this and give the permission of uh, domain admin so that uh, it, it will work fine for in your case. You can just check, but uh, we don't require any changes here. So you can click next. So 
So this is the summary like what all uh, component will be installed. So you can click on install part. We have to wait for some time. So I am just pausing so that uh, uh, it will not look boring for you. Okay, so let's check if uh, installation completed. Yes, it's uh, completed successfully without any error. So we can close it. And then uh, uh, there are some other updates or uh, cumulative updates are there which you can install. Uh, it's up to you like um, I'll I've also uh, I will also add uh, the uh, my latest blog on this uh, like whatever what all updates and uh, uh, cumulative updates are required for this SQL server I'll add that uh, blog path uh, which is uh, uh, added that on my website so you can go there and check uh, each and every detail uh, regarding this uh, SQL server installation so here it's a SQL server installation completed. So now the next step is our SCCM server installation that I'll cover in my next part. So you can uh, watch that video as well if you want to install the complete uh, setup of this SCCM. And uh, yeah, hope uh, it's, uh, it, it was uh, helpful for you, this video. So please like share and uh, subscribe my channel so that i can um, make uh, some good videos for you and uh, you will get benefit of, out of that okay thank you for watching my video thank you so much